Hi everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of Video Game Dad, the show that made an unfortunate deal with death and is still paying the price. I'm the Video Game Dad, and with me as always is the Video Game Kid. Would you make a deal with the devil? Are you so confident in your skills that you think you could even best death himself? Today's game is, if nothing else, a cautionary tale of hubris, and a classic case of be careful what you wish for. Today, we are playing... Chicago. That's right, today we are playing Shakan the Forever Man for the Sega Genesis. Are you ready to get started? Yeah! Alright then, let's get to it. Whoa, okay, is that a donkey? What the heck? Um... Oh, it has been so long. So very long. That's us. We're gonna fight evil with our cool ninja swords. I think it's Ninja Turtles. You think it's Ninja Turtles? Uh-huh. He smiled and said, From a man of death, from death himself, a wager. If you win, eternal life is yours. If I win, your soul is mine to do with as I wish. Foolishly, I accepted. The too long didn't read version, or in case I cut that out in editing. You're a dude who killed death and you were cursed with eternal life until all supernatural evil is destroyed. We are Shakan or Chakan. I genuinely don't know how to pronounce it. Um, we are playing This Is Another Request Game. It's been a while since we've done a request game. It was high time. Uh, this was requested by, by my buddy Rabble Rouser. Here's a link to his channel. He's an excellent dude. He just finished up, well, as of recording, he just finished up uh, his playthrough of Bioshock, which is incidentally one of my favorite games of the last generation. What is Bioshock? Bioshock is a game where you are in an underwater dystopia, formerly Utopia, and <laughs> it's crazy. And there's all kinds of metaphors, and Ayn Rand would love it. What are you making over there with your Play-Doh, honey? Um, a ball. She is making a ball. And would you say you're having a ball? We're some sort of skeleton man, and we're fighting bad dudes with cool swords. And we live forever, because that's what you do. From the blackness of the deepest ocean it came, the one called Mantis created an evil army and built a fortress to protect himself from me. It was wasted its time. My swords will taste your evil blood! So I guess that is kind of the raison d'etre of the game, is you just go through levels and, uh kill foul beasties and you live forever Oof. and you're pretty sluggish Oof. I mean pretty sluggish in the water but it's it's a little it's a little slow uh, all I know is that rabble suggested we play it I don't really know why I think he said that it was uh, his fa one of his favorites on the Sega Genesis um, it's been a while, like, since he requested it. I kind of feel bad about it, because, uh, we were in a stream chat together. I wasn't there. No, you weren't there, because this all happened on the internet. We were in a stream chat together. I think we were in one of Continue's streams, which Continue is another awesome, uh, Let's Player that you guys should definitely check out. Um, she plays a lot of, uh, indie games, and in her streams she's been playing Guild Wars too. It's been, it's been a pretty good time. Anyway, not the point of the story. He brought up, uh, he just kind of offhandedly mentioned, you know, oh man, I'm really looking forward to when you play the game I requested. And I was just like, um, you requested a game? And so I felt, I, I felt like a real bum, because, like, as soon as we started talking about it, uh, ooh, okay, thank you, noisy neighbors. You went to the bathroom? No, I didn't go to the bathroom, silly girl. <laughs> Uh, as soon as we started talking about it, I remembered, oh yeah, he did request that uh, we play a game, and it was this one. So now we're playing it. And by the time this goes up, it'll have been like a month and a half, maybe two months since he even requested it. But I'm a man of my word. I live by- ow, dang, man, stupid- We live in Oklahoma. Yep, that's true. Get up there. Get up there! Go! I want the things. I guess I can't get up there. This seems like it kind of has the Mega Man- 
type thing. Yeah. Maybe maybe it would be more accurately described as a uh, a Metroidvania style game. Yeah. In that there, it seems already just in the little bit we played that there's certain areas that you can't. Oh, good grief! What is that thing? Oh God, it's killing me! Octopus. Okay, just jump over the octopus. Run away! Run away, Chakan! Um, anyway. The little I do know about this game is, uh, as is my typical fashion, I did a little bit of pre-screening. Um, what even... Alright, let's try a different level then. Um, I checked it out on... I read the Wikipedia article, and I guess it's based on a comic book? That was the information I gleaned, and just whatever was in the intro, you know, you're immortal, and you tricked death into granting you immortality. Again. Hmm? Again, one with the little chipmunks or something? Like the one with the little chipmunks? What do you mean? So the nice thing about this game, that I will say, is that it seems as though death is not much of a punishment. It's basically just kind of slows you down a little bit. Because, as we learned from the intro, I am immortal, and the title of the game is The Forever Man, so... Dadgummit! Somebody mentioned the other day that Dadgummit would probably be my catchphrase, and... I think that was Adam from Replayability, I think he's the one that said that, and... The more I, you know, listen to myself, the more I realize he's probably 100% right. Wow, this is going amazingly well. My daddy's name is Nathan. That's true. Put a, put a comment in the okay. link if you like our cat games that I wanted to play. Okay then, put a comment if you like cat games. If you don't like our puppy game. Okay then. Alright, so I'm starting to get a handle on this. It looks like I actually do have a bit of a double what jump. What do you think? Cats or dogs? Yeah, there we go. That's a good call to action. What do you think? Cats or dogs? Okay. That's my catchphrase. That's your catchphrase? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Do you like cats or dogs? That's my catchphrase. That's your cat. Well, I'm asking you. Or I'm, I'm trying to have a dialogue with you. Do you like cats or dogs better? Yeah. That's not even a little actually, bit surprising. Actually, I like both. You like both? You like them both equally? Mm -hmm. Really? Because you talk about cats way more than you talk about dogs. I like them both. You like them both? Okay. Yeah. I believe you. What about skeletons? No! I like skeleton kitties. You like skeleton kitties? Yeah. You always talk about how much you like skeleton. Oh, dadgummit. And I fell into the fire. Uh, You're dead. Yep. Oh no! Oh, oh they're spitting fire! Run away, run away! I gotta kill him, dude! Oops. Run away! Oh, this is going amazingly well. I do like that, I mean, I do like that aspect of the game because I really, pretty much any older game, you're going to have lives. You like dying? No, I like the fact that when you die, it doesn't actually, it's not a huge detriment. It just sets you back a little bit, whereas like a lot of older games, you have lives and can dead gum it. You have lives and can, no, it's not a bad word. It's a replacement for a bad word. Yeah, in a lot in most older games, basically you've got lives and continues, and once you run out of both, the game is over, and you have to start over. Stinking bats! At the stinking end. You have to start over at the beginning of the game if you run out of lives and continues. But this sends you back to the beginning of the level, or there might be checkpoints. I don't know. I doubt it, because I mean. Who gives checkpoints to a guy with cool... Me and my sister are Pete the Cat now. Yep, that's true. We have every Pete the Cat book that's ever been made. Because these little girls love the... Dang it! Yeah, the double jump is not the best. Because it's not just a matter of hitting the jump button twice. You actually... Because basically what you're my doing... My sister is with my mom. That's true. Her name is Kaylee. That's true. Basically what I'm doing is I'm doing this spinning attack that's a normal ground thing, but in order to do that you do diagonal down and jump. So I'm basically doing that in the air and that's what's granting me the double jump. I mean, I assume that was done intentionally and not just a silly oversight that I'm exploiting. Either way, yeah, here. 
Yay, I got a potion. Mm -mm. I don't know what it does. Oh, I guess... Okay, so I guess I got... When I got the potion, I got... I don't understand, but let's find out. I assume maybe that's gonna... Okay, what's happening? I'm invisible! 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 We're invisible! Uh, you're invisible! Once I can get a handle on the double jump, like, get to where I can do it consistently, intentionally... What are you doing? I think I'll have a little bit more fun. I'm trying to get out of the water here. I mean, I'm enjoying it so far. I mean, I do have my complaints. Like, the fact that the character moves excruciatingly slow. And there's no, like, there's no run. Like, this is remember the pace. Remember a boy in his blob? I do remember a boy in his blob. In fact, we, uh, VG Mom has started playing the Wii version that I spoke so highly of in the Boy and His Blob episode. I don't know what bearing that has on anything. Remember it just that, seemed you like. Guys. Yeah, I'm sure they do. I've got a pretty loyal following, and they all think you're hilarious. And I don't disagree. I don't know what this does. Let's find out. Oops, I'm hiding behind a pillar. Um, it's boots with wings, so hopefully it makes me go faster. That'd be groovy. Nope. Invisible. Nope. I think, yeah, I jump higher. And I'm, I'm floating. Invisible. I jump higher and I'm floating. I think you're invisible. No, invisible means you wouldn't be able to see me. Like before, you could just see my guy's swords. Ouch. This is making traversing this terrain a whole I heck of a lot easier. Get the swords again. But I don't want to use up my magic. Oh no, that's not what I meant to do at all. Oh, I'm gonna die. I don't want that at all. Dang it. It seems like I can only do the double jump when I'm ascending. I can't do the double jump as I'm descending, which makes things a little complicated. Ah, oh, dang it. I'm almost there. Ah, oh, gotta get it. Yay, I got the thing. I think the potions are just magic power. Okay. Well, I'm doing a whole heck of a lot better now that I've got me some magic power. And I'm figuring out the game a little bit. Although it does seem like I'm being timed, which... Yay! Meow, meow, meow. We're already getting further than we were! Hey, I got some frosting for my ball! And this kid's got some frosting for her ball. I think that's a fire spell? Okay. This is interesting. It's a I'm, cupcake ball. Now that I've figured out what's going on with this that game, is, I'm actually enjoying it a quite a bit more. Ball. Okay, honey. Mm. All right, let's see. I think I got a fire spell, so I think that's gonna roast these dudes. Let's find out. Whatcha? Whatcha? Oh, sweet fire sword. Pew, 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 pew. Well, it's not killing the snakes like I hoped it would, but it's still pretty dang cool. And now I'm wondering... Are we doing the meow game again? Whoops, and I'm dead. Mew mew. Mew mew. So I saw those uh, potion vials on the door in the center, so I'm wondering if I have to collect a certain number like, I have to collect the potion vials to match that up, and then I do a spell in front of the door, and then that's the end of the game. Or do I have to defeat the monsters? I don't know, man. Oh no! Oh no! I'm dead. As is my typical fashion, I started- Guys, guys, guys. Guys, guys, I think Allison has something important to say. What's up, babe? She really likes cats. Don't tell anyone she really likes cats. Come here, imp. You got a half skull on one. Yep, that's my health bar. <clears throat> Why? Because it wouldn't be a game without a health hey, bar. Hey, did you know something called a snack bar? Um, probably. Why don't you tell me what you think a snack bar is? Uh, I think it's on a train. You think it's on a train? Oh, what is that monstrosity? It's messing me up is what it's doing. The one frustrating thing that- oh, that was neat. I'm gonna do that more. I got an egg for the minion. Yep. 
Ouch. Okay, well that was an effective strategy. Ow. Yeah, the one frustrating thing that I'm finding here is that, like, you can do the double jump, but you have to do it... Over and over again? No, not that. It's that you have to be going up in order to do the double jump. You can't be going down to do the double jump. Alright, you don't rip off. How can you do Show me how to double jump in game. You hit jump twice and you gotta be pointing in a direction. Die monster! I'm betting this would be a whole lot easier if I had some different spells, but I'm taking out this monster single-handedly. Die monster! <laughs> Yay! I did a thing! I feel accomplished! Well, I'm feeling pretty good because I actually managed to accomplish killing a beastie and I got some cool spells that... There we go! Yep. We got some cool spells that maybe we'll try out later. But... Oh no! Oh no! Pause. I plummeted Oops. to my death. Should we pause our channel? That says cancel, my dear. Oh, you are a silly kid. You know that? <clears throat> no. Alright, you don't want to be called silly anymore. So let's see. I want to be called cute. You want to be called cute? Okay, okay. I'm gonna okay. make a cake for the minion. I'm gonna make a cake for the minion. You're gonna make a cake for the minion. <laughs> You're silly. So it seems I went back to the beginning and I couldn't Looks activate like a spell, so I'm wondering. One day if we I... went to McDonald's and got a minion toy. Yep. So I'm wondering if I just have to activate the spell here. And. Oh, no. No, that's gonna kill me. Super dead. I don't know, man. I don't fully understand this game. But I'm enjoying it, so I think I'm going to come back to it another time. Alright, so after some time with Shakan, the Forever Man, what did you think? Awesome! Alright, and what did you like about it? Skeleton! Awesome, okay, and is there anything you didn't like? Mm hmm, okay. So what kind of rating do you want to give to this game? Five skeletons! Five skeletons? Sounds like a perfect rating. Well, I have to say, this was a really positive experience for me. This game seems to have a lot of depth that, unfortunately, we didn't get to explore too much, but it felt like we were really getting into the meat of the game. The game manages to accomplish the task of being dark without being muddy, a feat all too rare in modern games, and the music matches the brooding atmosphere. The main issue I had with this game was the controls. Your character moves incredibly slow, and the jumping takes a lot of work to understand. Overall, a great game, and well deserving of the cult status it has but probably too difficult for the little ones. Well, that's all the time that we have for this week, guys. As always, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to give us a like and a comment down below. And of course, subscribe. That's right, hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with our latest shenanigans. We will see you guys next time. And until then, keep playing.